I'm 41. There's two males out here. Hey, how are you doing? Let me hop out. Let me hop out. Real oh, quick. I'm sorry. You're all right, man. How can I help? What's going on? All right. Uh, uh, that's all right. That's all right. You just hush for a minute. Let me talk. Don't tell me to hush. Ralph, just give me a minute, please. Let me talk to him first. That makes him feel all right. Yeah, and it makes then you feel proud. There'll be another that's unit fine. coming. If you just wait a second yeah, for me. All right. So I came around here on my bike, and he was pulling his Harley out of his tent. And he was blocking the alley as he was doing that. But anyway, I asked him about his flags. I said, do you really know what those flags mean? You know what those people sacrifice. Okay. I said, it, it means that, for example, I can use First Amendment rights to say whatever I want. And if you have a problem with the word retard, for example, and you're wanting to shut me down, you want to disgrace what those people right now are in prison for, for example, and those people that gave their lives for our, our First Amendment rights. And he says, say, he got right up. Can I show you how, what he did? Yeah. I'm, he got right up here. Uh, he, he touched me first. I get it. And then he said, say the word retard again. And I did. And then he used both hands and shoved right. me back okay. as hard as he could. Try to get me to fall backwards. Where were you? I had a backpack on at the time. Were you guys here? Right, were... right here. Okay. Right here. And he shoved me as hard as he could. Okay. Look at him. All right. Well, you I well, I hope you would have knocked me out. Yeah. I would really right hope here. you would have, because my father served in, in World War II so and fought the Japanese. I know okay. what it's like to stand up against tyranny. I know what it's like what these people have given up that he's got the flag, but he doesn't. He has no idea, so or he wouldn't try to shut somebody down over a word. So you were just trying to talk to him about this flag? Exactly, because he's had a. I was t talking to this man several months ago. I come over and offer to help him work on his car. He comes out and gets in the conversation. I was talking about retard, and this guy gets all upset, almost to the point of throwing down. That's how upset he was. So I excused myself right away. I tried to apologize to him two, twice, right. and he wouldn't accept the apology. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll see you later. And I got out of there and left this guy, but ever since, He's had it out for me. Okay. The other day I came around with my car, and he, he he seen me coming. He was carrying something. Instead of walking in the grass, he got right in the middle of the alley and blocked me while I was trying to egress to the uh, down the alley. And then I went around and he yelled asshole at me. So I put up with six years of the same kind of bullshit from another punk that lived on the street. And I will not be shut down by somebody who thinks... I'm using the wrong words, or he just doesn't like me. I don't know, you know. Okay. Well, where was this guy out here during this time? No, House was in his apartment. Okay. He came out because this guy went over and got House out of the apartment. All right. And I had issues with House too, walking his dog on my property, using my property so as a toilet bowl. He's pool. over. So House has got a bias against me also as well. So he's out here. He, he, he's on his motorcycle right here when I come around. Okay, I understand. And I stopped and asked him about that, uh, the flag, if he knew what they meant and okay. all that. And then he got right in my face. And I said, for example, you don't meet like me using the word retard. You want to shut me down. And he said, use it one more time. And I did. He shut well, why are we even, me back. Why are we... Why are you even saying that to him? Like, I don't it, understand. It, it doesn't matter. I have a First Amendment right to That's use true. whatever so, word so are you I want to use. you instigating him? No, I wasn't instigating him. I asked him about the flag. That's when he got right in my face uh, I all of a sudden. And then he shoved me. That's called assault. He put his hands on me, and he assaulted me. First of all, he walked up on me and touched me with his stomach and his chest. And but then he's he out, put his hands. He's he, out here doing whatever, and then you approach him, right? I'm riding my bike. I'm trying to go down the alley. Okay. He's got the bike blocked. Are you on a motorcycle or like bicycle? I'm on a bicycle. All right. And I wanted to clear the air. I wanted to get down to the bottom of if he re, if he truly knows what these flags are about. What does not really matter? What what people? Then I want to know where he's coming from. But does, does he respect? Matter? Does he respect the I Constitution? That. That's what it's all about. But does it? He doesn't. But it doesn't have matter. To, he assaulted me. That's the point. But he doesn't. I called have to you because he assaulted me. He doesn't have to justify assaulting me. He no, violated I'm my rights. Why he has the flag up? That doesn't have anything to do with it. He assaulted me. Period. Okay. I did nothing at all. I did not touch him in any way. 
I didn't say, get the fuck out of the way or anything yeah. like that. I wanted to have a civil conversation about what he knew about what they stand for. Okay. And apparently he does not. It's called the Constitution of the United States. Okay. And he got right up in my face, touched me with his body, and then he shoved me back because he doesn't like the word I'm using. Okay. Well, I got to see what he tells him. Who's the officer in charge in this? Why? Because I want to press charges for assault. Well, we got to be able to, I'm not saying he didn't do it. I'm just trying to see what he says, and then we'll, me and that. There's nothing that he can say that would justify an assault. Yeah, but you think how Period. many calls we go to where people say that something happened. I'm not saying it didn't happen. Okay. I, we just have to, right. we got to talk to him, and then. Was there anybody? So that guy wasn't out here. That's no, why I was asking. I don't care what that guy I, says then. I thought him and I could have a civil conversation so that we would clear the air and that we'd be agreeable. Sure, you might not like what I, my word I use, but there's no reason to fight over that. Retard? There's no reason to fight over that. I watch South Park. They use that all the time. I guess. Okay. I don't know. I just wouldn't. I don't know. In this day and age, I just. If, Support what you want and do what you want, yeah, right? Well, the thing it is, when he escalated by walking in the middle of the alley, blocking me, it, it, most people, when they go to the trash, they walk along the grass and go around and put it in. This guy seen me coming, got right out in the middle of the alley, was blocking me, and then when I went around, he yelled asshole at me. And so I wanted to put a stop. I wanted to try to put a stop to so we'd have an understanding. We both, I, I know I do, appreciate our constitutional rights because no other country in the entire world has what we have. And if he's flying three flags that celebrate, supposed to celebrate that fact, I wanted to know where he's coming from. Apparently, he does not understand why those flags, what they represent. He does not understand. Apparently, he doesn't. Okay. I work with people at Honda. They come in there just like him, all big and bad. I'm the big, bad biker guy. But when Tokyo Joe said jump, they go, how high? Just like that. I mean, they don't understand. Hey, you have rights. And the and it's called Constitution. People, millions of us died to secure those rights. And I'm not going to back down because this guy doesn't like my language. You know, if he doesn't like it, just go away. Don't talk to me. Don't try to escalate, intimidate. I didn't try to escalate. I wanted to know where he was coming from on this flag. Does he appreciate the Constitution or not? Apparently he does not. He wants I... to shut other people down. And if you're going to get that bent out of shape on retard, there's a hell of a lot more words you could use. It. A lot more inflammatory than retard. Well, for some reason it bothers him. Yeah, but there's that. There's no reason to assault somebody, period. Assault, he committed a, a, a offense against me, he assaulted me. I like to know what his name is, I like to know whether he has a fel felony record, because that's one reason I have my fence up, because of the sex of perverts that used to live back here, and my, my right now my, my granddaughter's 15 years old. And what I couldn't believe is the sex perverts that used to live over in this area, and when I reported to the sheriff that they'd moved, they didn't do anything at all about it, and they went on to commit uh, more crimes after that. But I just wanted to know if he if he knew re reason why those flags were there. Why 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 are they? What do they represent? And if that's when he got all up in my face and touched me with his whole body. I was standing like right here, right where you were. He got off his bike right where he is. Come right up on me. I didn't back up. I'm not backing. I'm not the kind of guy that backed up. My father's blood runs at night. We're okay. And he fought in World War II against the Japanese and received the Purple, purple Heart twice. Scared as hell, though, but he's a lot, he, he lived to see another day. You hang out here for me just one minute so I can go talk to this gentleman over here. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. How you doing, bud? Good. How are you? Always good. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah. so my son wanted a bag. I said, go ahead, go. That was a gift. And possession something was the Lord. So crack them out, I said, crack them, crack them. Yeah, I'll break his hurt. Yeah, I'll break his hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you did a lot for right. your last two days. Right. Let me talk to you. Can I talk to him real quick? Yeah. Yeah. As he says he comes outside. He says he's back in his bike out of Yeah, and he was in the way. And then Ralph, Ralph keeps telling me that he wanted to talk to him about that flag. Yeah, that's what, what he, he said. Like he jumps off and says, don't you know yeah. what that flag's for? And so Ralph keeps telling me, and then he said, Ralph said retard, and the guy said, don't say that again. So Ralph says... It sounds like to me that Ralph's the instigator this whole time. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Then he said, did he put, did he touch him? He said Ralph got off of his bike and walked up to him. Yeah. And then he said, did he get out him? of my face. Nope. He said he didn't touch him. Well, he said he got up and went and shut his uh, little shed. Yeah. Pipe. Like Ralph even admits that he goes up and tries to, he wants to talk to him about this flag. Why? Because it's his right. Then why is he calling him a soldier? Because he said he pushed him. He says he didn't push him. Well, I don't have any witnesses. And he Ralph said no one else like he's the instigator. Yeah. Yeah, Ralph got up at it. So Ralph admits to getting up at his face? No, he just said he just wanted to talk to him about that flag. Why? Because I so, said, yeah, that's, and he said, well, that's, and then I tried to tell him that, like, why are you even worried about, that's not the point. He wants to know that whatever, and then he kept saying that he said retard, and the guy told him not to say that, and he goes, I can't believe he's offended by that. Ralph's the instigator, like 100%. Well, he said that wasn't even today. He said that was a couple days ago. How long ago was that what? other incident? A couple uh, weeks ago. Yeah, well, he said that about the other one. I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, he was working on his car right over here. But the flag was today, though, right? Yeah, the flag incident was today, but he was working on his car, and... I live there, he lives right next to me. This guy comes over and we're talking. I'm telling him that my fiance just got a, a new job at the CRS building over here on uh, Oakland. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, my daughter used to work there. There's a bunch of retards there. And I said, excuse me, I do not appreciate that word. I have an uncle that's mentally handicapped. Did he use that word today? Yes, he did. So he said it today? Yes, and today. Oh, what? Okay. I, I'm I sorry. I. I Okay, yeah, you told just, me about the past one. Right. I didn't, what but he did. He, did. he said, he said, what, you didn't like that uh, I use the word retarded? I'll use the word retarded whenever I want. I said, okay, fine. That's on you. But you will catch somebody that will put their hands on you. All right. Look, let's get him at uh, it. Obviously, there's nothing we're going to. Look, like I, like I just told the sergeant, Officer Goldberg. Yeah. If I would have put my hands on him. You'd have had to have, probably had the squad out here. I just don't understand, like, why he's so worried about this flag and what you're doing. It, he's a nosy motherfucker. Todd, come in. The whole eight years he's been here, he, he's had problems with him because his dog yeah. pissed in his fucking yard. Yeah, I mean, he told me that. And then, he, then when he mows, he blows the grass out here on the streets and don't clean it up unless you tell him to. You know, that's the Sydney ordinance. Y'all came out here one time because I called him because he wouldn't get it out the road. I told him, look, give me a verbal warning this time. The next time you put grass in there and he calls on you, I can give you a fine of up to $150 for not removing that grass out of the road. Knowing but you let me know for me, I do know what each one of those flags stand for because I'm a veteran and my father's a veteran. I just don't understand like, why he's calling us if he's... Exactly. you about it. it sounds That's like he's I, the aggressor. I, I don't get it. I don't do not get it. I've been here going on five months. I go to work. I come home. If I'm not home, I'm on my bike. If I'm not on my bike, I'm in the house with my dogs. Here's what I tell you. I would just... Uh, and yes, I do. When I back that bike out... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. When I back that bike out, I do get off of it. I put it sideways. I go back up. That's this, fine. This isn't his alley. Well, he thinks it is. But um, I would just say if you have any more problems with I'll him. I'll call you. Yeah, I wouldn't say anything to him, and I'm going to tell him the same thing. Not if a problem. If he feels like there's a problem, but I just wouldn't talk to him. I don't. I tr trust me. I avoid him. And I will tell you one other thing. One day I was walking down the alley, put my garbage in a uh, garbage can. Yeah. He's in 
that vehicle right there, look, he almost hit me. He's almost hit me and my dog. See? Him and his wife. That's what I'm dog. saying, you know? And I, nasty people. But I don't call the police because I'm not a police caller, you know what I'm That's saying? That's fine. I mean, you know, he, it just shows how immature this he is. But let him know he ever tries to do that shit again. I will have his ass. I can have him charged. All right. Well, I don't know if you ever thought about getting cameras out here. We are. Trust me. The landlord's working on it because we have people dump shit in the dumpster. Well, I'm even saying just, are you on this corner property? Yeah. I, I'd even put one facing out here. That, future for future. Well, the way we're going to do it, we're going to put one on the uh, court, the, where the peak is. Yeah. Aiming out this way. And then we're going to have one up on that peak. Aiming. Okay. All right, well, let us go over here and talk to him. Hey, no problem. Right. Sorry, sorry about that. Have a good day. Thank you for your service. Yeah, yeah. yeah. appreciate you. I just want you to hear this story. So you come out. He's in the middle of the alleyway. Mm -hmm. You confront him about his flag because you want to know why he has it flying and you're I said, trying do to. You, do you know why those flags exist? Why do they exist? And then what, you, what did they, those people sacrifice? And then okay, so you're talking to him about it. I'm you, trying to be civil because, uh, I a, like I said earlier, conversation had a big problem with the word retard. I said, wait a minute, we is live in the, in the United States of America. We have rights. One of them, First Amendment right. To okay. Say. To say whatever we want, except for yelling fire in a movie theater or causing some kind of panic. So, did you right, use so, that word again today? So, well, yeah, because I wanted to know, for example, the word retard. He said, use that one more time. And while he was touching my body, he is the one made contact to me with his whole body. And then when I used the word retard again, he shoved me back with both hands. It's a good thing I didn't fall backwards and hit my head because I had my backpack on there. So, he said you walked up kind of into his face, though. You kind of got off his no. face. No. No. He didn't do that? I got off my bike. I was on my bike. Bicycle. Yeah, He's on, on my his bike, motorcycle. And he was on his motorcycle. And when I started to have the conversation about the flag and the rights and stuff, then he said, let me tell you something, brother. And he had a key or something. Turned out. Got off his motorcycle. Come right over. I um, got right up in. I showed the officer yeah. how he, he his close. body touched my my body, whole body, touched my body. All right. So, and then he said, "If you ever run up on me again, because I told you about the incident where he blocked the alley, walking to the trash can instead of walking in the grass. He seen me coming, and he purposely went out in the alley to block me from going down the alley." Or to, to slow my progress. And when I went around him, he actually tried to sidestep to try to get in my car again, Ralph, in front of my car. Can I ask you something, yeah. Ralph? So, if you feel like you guys don't get along, and then you come over and you well, ask somebody to agitate, no, like, no, no, I'm not stuff? agitating. What I wanted to do, as if you talk to the older gentlemen that been been around, Donnie Cooper lived across from us for six years. Six years, he harassed my family. He even told the neighbor that he wanted to rape my then 12-year-old daughter. All right? I wanted 